So I'm going to try and dock him in. We've got, oh my God, I've got chocolate oil on my face. Oh, I've got a cacao. Um, spit wash. I'm going to try and dock him in. Um, <laughs> us packing this weekend i've already packed some boxes tonight and i've had enough now the amount of crap i found in the kitchen cupboards it's out of date we're only going to buy what we need from now on we just bought stuff to make things in it oh anyway so i'm just gonna pan around this the tip of the living room now bear in mind the living room is Andrew's stock room for three businesses, two, two, three businesses. It's my art stock room. Most of my instruments are upstairs out the way, anyway. Yes, there's, there's a lady, Patty Pops. And um, the house is the house that we're currently in is too small for us, and we have we, we're moving basically. And luckily, I've got loads of boxes from work. Thank you, everybody, for collecting those for me and getting them. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Ange does to, because she's told me I've got to do the kitchen, which I've done quite a lot of, and she's going to do the living room tomorrow, and she is going to lose her shit. I'm going to pan round and show you the before. So as you can see, this is all Ange's crap. There's Patty. I hate behind, you know, behind there, that makes me so angry. Whenever we go behind that TV, we both lose our temper. It's like a a corner of of anger um so i've got all of this crap this is all of and this is all of and just chucking stuff everywhere it's just boxes crap everywhere and it's an absolute nightmare so that's where we're at we'll see what this looks like when we start boxing and de-junking tomorrow what do you think about moving? You excited? Are you shocked? Have you found your treats? Have you found your treats? Put your treats down for me, go on. And uh, <laughs> Settle him down now. Yeah. Love you. And another thing that Ange does is, even though we have a notice on the door that we don't want any junk mail, we tend to get it because the postman just sneaks it through. We have a recycling bin straight outside the front door. Now, I, anything that comes to the door that's not relevant for us, goes straight in the recycling bin. Ange brings it in the house and then dumps it somewhere or takes it up to the toilet to read and leaves it in the bathroom. One of her many little habits of joy. Now you'll see that's the kitchen. Currently that's where the recycling bin is. So Ange will drink something out of a recyclable container. And then, guess what she does? She'll take it and put it over there on the worktop. Instead of just like taking it and putting it in the recycling bin... It gets taken all the way over there and put on the top. One of the many reasons why I lose my shit. Making a little nest. You settled? So there's a range of emotions one goes through when moving. You know, we've been really lucky that we've had really lovely neighbours and especially during that event of lockdown when you, we could share things over the fence and there's that camaraderie, there's that getting some shopping, getting some toilet roll for people or some ice cream when, and sharing it and things and that was really wonderful and we are going to miss being next door to those people. But obviously we're going to socialise with them just a little bit further away when we move. Um, it's kind of, you know, like I said, I think I've said before, you get to an age where you kind of have everything you need. And some people live minimalist. 
some people have the tools for their passions. I mean, I have the tools for my passions, which is um, instruments and paintings that I create for, you know, I can whitewash the walls, but my wallpaper is the paintings that I create, which things like colour and good energies and those paintings are created in my healing room, so they get all the vibrations from that and my Reiki energy uh, and my creative energy. So moving from a house that we've embedded with the vibes, you know, the love, the arguments, the everything we've experienced in 10 years, it's kind of a big thing and it's a bit sad in some ways, but we've got to the point where we really need to move on and expand and we need more space I, I get I've found myself getting the last few years really frustrated with the amount of stuff we've got versus the amount of living space so this house has turned into a business rather than a living space especially downstairs and I found it really frustrating even though it's we've got you know, crystals and Angie's stuff and it's great she's she literally moved downstairs during lockdown to work Whereas I took over the other spare room, which is the healing room for my music and art. And it's just, yeah, it's just got everything was too, too minimalist. And whilst it's liberating dejunking, we, for what we do, can only dejunk so much because of stuff that we need to use. So, yeah, and we used to, we had this thing where we'd go to car boots and get dead excited. And I've got a chicken, I've got like a straw chicken that we bought and things. I was going to buy a camel saddle at one point. I don't know why we even considered at the car boot buying a camel saddle because it looked weird and pretty. Luckily we didn't. But yeah, the things that you collect. And I've known people that collect stuff because they're unhappy or they buy things to make them happy. And one of the biggest revelations is things won't make you happy. They'll just plug cracks that's this is what we've we found and you know I, I love a little bit of a well, I've, bought, I've bought something I bought you know a new instrument but I utilize that instrument in my music and you can never have enough instruments some people you can never have enough handbags and shoes I'm like you can never have enough instruments and you're like you can never have enough baby bells or you can never have enough crystals so yeah, it's mixed mixed emotions, leaving the old to vibe into the new, and it's very. I'm gonna, we've got, you know, when we get settled, and things get put in the right place, and then we realise we have more space, and I don't want to fill that space with more stuff. I want to keep that space free and the energy flowing. We both want to do that, and yeah, it's gonna be really good.